Hello, my 3D printer peeps. Today, we are going to laser engrave and color a mirror using Xtool Creative Space and an S1 laser engraver. Let's get started. Hello, my laser peeps. I'm sitting here with the Xtool S1 laser engraver. And today, we're gonna have some fun and engrave on a mirror, a mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror, mirror. A reflective thing. I've cleaned this mirror with Scott's Blue Shop Cloth and some eyeglass cleaner from the dollar store. This mirror uh, came from the Martoff wall. Going forward, I'm gonna handle this mirror using a Scott's Blue Shop Cloth to keep me from damaging the mirror or even scraping my equipment with the mirror. And the secret to engraving on this mirror is we are going to engrave on the back of the mirror. Let's do that together using Xtool Creative Space right now. We will do this burn in Xtool Creative Space. I'm on my iPad Pro. You may be on your computer. Before placing the mirror, we want to be very careful that we don't scrape the mirror on the honeycomb. I'm gonna do this using simple popsicle sticks. Place the popsicle sticks however you deem necessary. Place the mirror upside down on top of the popsicle sticks. We will then use the laser to make sure it's relatively straight. I place the laser along the edge of the mirror and position the mirror so that it's straight with the laser. With the mirror in position, we'll need to mark measure and frame. Let's get started with measuring. Bring your probe to the center of the mirror and touch right here on the ruler. Now that we have a measurement, we'll start marking. Choose whatever shape is good for you. I'm going to choose a rectangle and press Start marking. I'm gonna bring mine right here to avoid the rubber foot. And then come down to the next corner and do the same to avoid the rubber foot. We now have a square inside the rubber feet and I'll press end marking and done. There you have it. This is the underside of our mirror. Let's go ahead and put something on it. We will burn some random text. Cool. Mirror. Test. We are going to choose the process, which is going to be engrave. 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 You can, of course, use whatever font you'd like. I'm gonna use these three fonts and we are going to prepare for engraving. For material, I'm gonna find something similar, such as black metal business card and press confirm. Very similar to the metal business card, we are removing the top surface to reveal the surface underneath. In order to see, the settings this will give us, touch on your item, and look right here. We've got one pass of 30 power and 300 speed. As is typical in laser engraving, it is great if you could have an extra item of the same material to run a test on. Before we start this print job, there's one more thing we need to do. Can you guess what it is? We are burning on the back of a mirror. That means when we flip the mirror forward, all of this text will be backwards. Place your finger on the screen and drag a box over all the text. Touch this icon right here and touch this icon right here. You will now see all of the text is backwards. This way, when we turn the mirror forward, it will be in the correct orientation. I am going to select them again and increase my power to 
We are now ready to start our print. Before starting the print, we will frame it. Touch on framing, touch the button on your S1, and watch the laser demonstrate the area which will contain our burn. Looks good to me. I'll touch framing complete, and I will move to process. Looks like we've got a 15 minute burn. Go ahead and close the lid. I will leave my air assist on auto and press start. And here it is, our cool mirror test. Here we have two different burns. This one at 40% power, this one at 30% power. This one is burnt all the way through. You can see through the mirror. This one is just shy of all the way through. You cannot see through the mirror. Therefore, you can put this mirror wherever you want and have that text visible. This one, you can put it up against a colored wall and you will see some of that color shine through. Or you can do something else even more cool. Let me show you. Here you can see our cool mirror test is sitting on the blue cloth. The blue of the cloth is passing through the mirror. Well, guess what else will pass through the mirror? Glitter glue, paint, and other colorful artistic items. All you would need to do is apply your glitter glue, paint, colored foil, paper, or any other colored art item behind the mirror. Let's do that now. I'm gonna block off the bottom two words and blue paint over the top word. I'm gonna block off the bottom word and the top word and silver paint over the middle word. Red metallic paint from Dollar Tree, the third word. And here we are. Despite reflecting my popcorn ceiling, you can clearly see the blue, silver, and red text. How about a bonus tip for those of you who don't like to paint? I am going to remove the red paint. We will now color the word test red without paint. We will use simple, red electrical tape. And there you go. We have laser engraved red lettering using nothing but electrical tape. Electrical tape is available in tons of colors and at very low cost. You can also experiment with things like colored foil and even blue painter's tape. Now you know how to engrave and color a mirror with paint or even electrical tape. I'm Mr. Greg and you're on 3D Rundown.